I'm now going to show you how to start weaving the cord. I've got the weft in a different colour so you can see it clearly. I've tied the warp to my back strap and everything's ready. The tension should not be too tight. Now what we have to do is weave two rounds of the warp weft very loosely. Um, so there needs to be enough weft thread to complete um, this cord on the shuttle. Right, so off we go. Under, over and keep picking up. Leave a, a nice tail. Move the disc clockwise. Go over and under one with the sequence. We're now back to where we started and we're going over one, under one. So you can see that the two rows correspond to each other. Over, one, two, three. So that's roughly two rounds of weft on the cord and it's loose as you can see. Now we want <coughs> to produce a firm base for weaving. So if we take the disc down like this you'll see that the weft actually moves down to the start of your weaving and now all you have to do is pull both ends as tight as possible. And there is the firm base to start weaving the cord. How to work out where to start picking up the warp ends. Look at the weft and you'll see that it's gone under this one when you tug it. So it's got to go over the next warp end and then you pick up one, two, three and four and beat. Then, then take it through. Turn again to the clockwise. Now you can see that it's gone under that blue warp end as I'm pulling it. So it's got to go over the white and up over the white. And in fact, if you look, you will see that the ones I'm picking up are, if you like, slightly lower um, in the warp uh, sequence. Okay, three and four. Right. Sorry. This is the weaving sequence and I'm controlling the angle of twist. So here is a card with 13 holes and this is the sequence I use. First of all, pick up four war pens. So that's the start of the weaving. So it's pick up one, two, three and four. Beat, take the shuttle through, pull with the right hand and then pull with the shuttle. Take the shuttle over the war pens and move the disc or card clockwise to the next point of weaving. That's the thread I've gone underneath, so I go over the white, two, three and four, beat, take the shuttle through, pull on the right and then pull on the shuttle, but now I take the shuttle underneath and as you can see, D is at the top there, and then I'm turning it anti-clockwise to the point of weaving. And here we get um, its A, more or less, on top. The weft is under that warp end, so it goes over the next, and now pick up four, three and four. And I'm turning the card clockwise. Beat, take the shuttle through, tug to the right and then to the left. Shuttle goes over the top of the warp ends, turn it clockwise, find the point of weaving, one, two, three, four, beat. And then tug and tug. And now the shuttle goes underneath. So for this sequence, I'm going, I'm picking up four, the shuttle goes back over the warp and picking up another four and then the shuttle goes underneath. So the twist is being added in an even way. 
So this means that I get that particular angle of twist with this um, sequence. If I wanted a tighter angle, I would in fact maybe do three sets of pickups and then before I turn it back and start again. If I wanted a smaller angle of twist, I would maybe only do one turn and then back again.